Hello, current friends and future friends alike. My name is Marchalin. You can call me March and <laughs> welcome back to my playthrough of Pokemon Violet. I'm excited to jump in today, uh, especially because last time, last episode, we found this pig. We found this shiny Lechonk. And I was deciding whether or not I wanted to actually use her in a playthrough. And I mean, when the game hands you a shiny Pokemon, I don't think you should just say no. <laughs> so I think we're going to go with her. Um, with that said, let's jump into today's episode and get started. So just like with all of our Pokemon, we got to nickname her. And given that she is bright pink, I think this is probably a good name for her. We're going to call her Taffeta. But like, spell like Taffy. You get it? You get it? Alright, moving on. Apparently I spent the whole day nicknaming a pig. Alright, so we have a level 18 Lechonk that's going to need some attention to get her back up with the rest of the team. And what are we doing today? Where are we going today? Okay, looking at the map, the obvious answer is we go and hit up the Path of Legends and make Maridon a slightly better transportation Pokemon. Uh, but I don't really want to use Maridon very much, and increasing Maridon's ability to get us around the map will just encourage me to use Maridon all the more. So instead of that, I'm thinking we can actually do this entire map and leave all of the Path of Legends for last. Is this a good idea? No, probably not. But it is the way I'm going to play this playthrough. So what we're going to do, rather than backtrack and go like hit up the bug gym and everything over this way, I think we're going to head north. We're going to go take on Iona, the electric gym leader of Clavincia, and then continue to make a big circle this way. This is going to get a little weird for leveling, especially as we work our way back around this way and we'll find ourselves over leveled. But I'll find a way to make that a little bit challenging for myself in the future. And I spent so long, it's now night. I've been trying to do some Let's Go mode, and Taffeta hasn't really been particularly good at that in this area. Right, how the heck am I going to level Taffeta up? I don't know if this is a good idea of sending a pig into a bullfight. But I do want to level Taffeta up. I'm sure she's got this. Oh, that's not good. That's not good at all. I think we have a fair amount of switch training ahead of us in order to get Taffeta up. That's not very good. You wouldn't hit a Pokemon that you're in love with, right? That's what I thought. Oh, some productive leveling up. Oh, wow. Okay. Well, Taffet is already ready to evolve, so didn't spend much time with us as a Lechonk. Well, now we have an Oinkalong. Is that how you say that? Oinkalong. Oinkalogane. We have an Oinkalogane. Oinkalogane. Oinkalong. This is a meticulous Pokemon that likes to keep things tidy. It shrouds itself in a floral aroma that soothes the Pokemon around it. Well, that's rather neat. Although, now that I've evolved this Taffeta, this Oinkalong, eh? I, uh, I don't actually think I looked at their stats whatsoever. So, like, yeah, let's check her out. As that Tauros tries to just bully me some more. Get out of here, Tauros. We have a sturdy body lax Pokemon. So... Up with defense, down with special defense. All right. A fairly relaxed member for the team. That's pretty good. That should help balance out Willoughby a little bit, who's very serious and quick-tempered. Of course, we gotta give the new member a bit of a wash, a bit of a rub down. Oh yes, very glamorous. Wash, 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 wash. Okay, we're outside of Lavincia, and we're mainly here already because I took a look at Inono's levels. Most of her Pokemon are around level 23, 24, so I think we're just gonna go for it. Ugh, I really love Lavincia. It's just a very cool town. Grab that for later. Where even is the gym building? 
uh, is an excellent question that I should have asked myself earlier before running into town. Oh, it's on the other side. Of course it is. Well, before I head over there, I want to look at this lighthouse. I may regret this decision. Leave me alone, Taurus. Oh, well, we gotta go up here. And if you take the photo just right, it starts to rain on you. Great. <laughs> I'll be back here by the end of the episode. I'm gonna take a photo later. Aha! I finally found the building. As ever, we're just gonna jump into this and see how the first fight goes. Although we might have a different fight ahead of us first. It's so wild that we ended up randomly visiting the same gym at the same time. Again. What a weird coincidence. I swear, I'm not just sneaking ahead of you so I can lie and wait and go, Oh, how weird. <gasps> Might as well battle now that you're here, you know? No, seriously, look, to prove it, I won't even challenge you to a battle this time. Mm, as much as I'd like to. But look at you and your Pokemon. They've definitely gotten stronger since last time. I'll be cheering for ya. I'll go train, like, maybe 20 Pokemon or so while you tackle the gym. I mean, you could tell she really wanted to ask. She definitely wanted to fight. I'd be happy to give one to her. I got, like, a new shiny pig. Yeah, I gotta show that off. Here we are, at the Lavincia gym. Obviously, we have a gym test. Uh, and apparently that means starring in one of Iona's streams. Uh, so Iona's a streamer, as well as a gym leader. So you want to dazzle her audience with skills to rack up the subscriptions. Well, that feels a little... feels a little weird right now. Um, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Okay, we're moving on. Just head outside, and soon you'll find out what you need to do. Now get out there and have fun! Oh, I'm definitely ready. Let's go. Ladies and gentlemen, it's time for Iona Zone. I know. I know zone. Whatever. Oh. Oh. Oh, look at that. I'm on the right side so that I'm not blocking her. It's pretty serendipitous. Hey, hey, hey. Your eyeballs are mine. Caught in my electro web. What's it? What's it? I know. I'm the gym leader here. Hello, hello, hola. Ciao, buen, bonjour. Obviously, we're going to go along with this. This is too fun not to. Oh, snap! Look at you! Already a master of Ionese. Not your first rodeo then, eh? I mean, I guess it's not my first rodeo, given all the YouTube videos I've done this year. At the same time, though, I have a lot to learn, so... I'm happy to keep working on that skill. And, uh, I hope this doesn't come as too much of a surprise, but you're being broadcast live to the world right now. Smile! Um, that's a weak smile, Marchalin. Come on. I can show you how to do a better smile. It's like this. Yeah. See? Do that. Anywho, Challenger, thanks for coming out to the Lavincia gym to see me. I'm super happy you're here, but I'm also a bit of a celeb, you know? I'm all kinds of busy. So I can't collab with you unless I know you can bring in the sweet, sweet viewer number. I mean, I gotta make sure you bring some real passion to my stream. And so, if you want to battle me, you're gonna have to help me make this live stream a viral hit first, got it? Mm, I don't know, you're talking to the wrong bun. Have you seen my subscription numbers? Like... Not exactly a viral sensation over here on the Marchalin channel, but, I mean, we're here to have fun. All I'm saying is I'm the wrong person to ask, pretty much just like everybody in this Pokemon universe, just like asking me to do things when I'm really not the right one for the job. Oh well. I can tell you just can't wait to get started. Well, well, well then. Allow me to explain the plan. Come on out, Mr. Walksabout. Oh, it's Clive. I mean, Director. I mean... Oh, Marchalin, what a coincidence meeting you here. Wait, say what? Do you guys know each other or something? This dude here had a real aura about him when he was walking down the street, so I snatched him up for my dealio here. Do you do you not know who the director of the Pokemon school is? To be fair, you might have graduated a bit ago. You are uh, too kind. Ha ha ha. Anywho, Marchalin, since you're today's challenger, I'm gonna have you play hide and seek with Mr. Walks about here. Look for the good gentleman using the street surveillance cameras. Find him three times, and you can consider this gym test passed. Am I allowed on the street surveillance cameras? That seems like a... That doesn't seem very secure. Aren't they for, like, you know, official use? Oh, I guess being a streamer is pretty official business. I have a lot to learn. 
We need a better name for this challenge. I'll call it Weird Lavincia's Mr. Walks About. You think that title's safe? There's nothing iffy about it or anything, right? <laughs> eh, whatevs. I don't know about you, but I'm ready to go. Get ready to hide, Mr. Walks About. All right, we gotta find Director Clavel. That shouldn't be too hard. Not too bad. That's that's a pretty great hiding spot right there. I will say on Scarlet, since the director wears like a reddish orange, uh, it does trick your brain a little bit. Since that's where the Pokemon Center lady would be standing. And there. Woo! My subscriber numbers are on the rise like a super fast Electros crawling out of the ocean. Er, I mean, congratulations on passing my gym test. Hot diggity dang, what a good... Hot diggity dang. Sure, sure. What a good time, huh? You had people on the edge of their seats worldwide. I bet I could have some super rad streams by collaborating with you, Marchlin. So hey, when you're ready, just hit up my lobby staff. They'll get you all set up to collab with me. Lickety split. I'll be ready to go whenevs. Okay, bye. Well, that was an interesting experience. And I'm really happy that I was on the right side. Okay, before I forget, let's give a cherry berry to Oinklong. Let's give one to our Jigglypuff. We're gonna stop by Delibird Presents and grab some battle items. I'm kind of interested in the wide lens. Very expensive. Still am interested. I think this would be pretty good for Hazel. A lot of the rock moves have a, like, a slightly lower accuracy. So we're just gonna grab that before I, like, have a time to regret that choice. Unlike the last attempt with our grass gym leader, and with Mela, we're gonna get this in one. No needing to fight the gym leader three times. This is it. This is just gonna be the definitive sweep. Are we ready to challenge the supercharged streamer? Oh yeah, let's go. Ladies and gentlemen, are you ready? Your eyeballs are mine, caught up in my electroweb. What? <laughs> Who's a what's it? I don't know. Hello, hello, hola, ciao, bonjour. I'm starting to get the hang of that. It's time for the Ionozone, everybody. That's such a cute little everything that she's got going. Today's challenger is flying high like a watchroll. It's Marchelin. That's a good photo. We need that one. How are you feeling about this battle, Marchelin? Uh, like I can't lose. Hey, hey, we've got a lively one. You'd make a gnarly influencer, friendo. Alrighty then. Who's ready to see me kick some butt? <laughs> Looks like you're all getting hyped. Ah, thank you very much, Lee. Electro King. Let's get the show on the road. How strong is our challenger? I know. Let's find out together. I love all of her talk. I don't know if that capture was good, but we'll find out later. Alright, we got a bird and electric. Oh, we got this. Uh, it has no effect, but we got this. We're just going to use our echoed voice strategy. And unlike with the grass gym, we actually do have a, like, actually, maybe like the grass gym, we have a really good fallback in Hazel. Haha! -ha. I prepared for this! Alright, Belly Bolt. Kind of an awesome Pokemon. I'm very curious to use a Belly Bolt in the future. I didn't realize how low Taffeta had gotten, so I think it's time to switch. I'm gonna save Hazel for last. She's gonna be our secret weapon. I am about to really make this Belly Bolt powerful. Ah! <gasps> uh... This might have been a bad idea, but maybe not. 
I mean, if Belly Bolt can't use the electric moves on us because of Lightning Rod, maybe I'm just a genius? Sure, let's go with that. And it doesn't look like Belly Bolt's able to do very much to us, even though we're not able to do very much to Belly Bolt. Alright, not bad. Luxio. We've already have experience dealing with Luxio a little bit. I'll admit, Intimidate isn't great for us. Oh, flinch. <laughs> Alright, we're gonna have to pull Lemon back. Wait, Dark and Fairy, how do those interact? I can't remember. I'm really good at this game. Oh, okay, we're great. <laughs> we're, we're golden. Um, how do you like it if I go for flinching moves? Oh, oh dear. Am I gonna be able to live this next hit? Oh, I hate this, but I think we're, I think we're throwing in Hazel. <laughs> I just realized how set we are. Um, I know her last Pokemon, and uh, Hazel's got a great ability against her. Yeah, Miss Magus. <gasps> oh no, this is good, loyal fans. I need to hear you cheering. I um, <gasps> I love Miss Magus. <laughs> We're back to ghost Pokemon. All right, ghost Pokemon talk real fast, real quick. As you know from past episodes, I do love ghost Pokemon quite a bit, but caveat, or not even caveat, like addendum, I guess. Uh, Mr. Viss is my favorite Pokemon in the entire game. So obviously I love Miss Magus as well, but like, oh, I love Mr. Viss. And it makes me so happy to see this Pokemon being used. All right, that said. <laughs> Uh, she's gonna terrestrialize, and I have no idea how this is gonna go. But all ghost moves do half damage to Hazel, and I mean rock Pokemon, so electric isn't gonna be that good. And we get to listen to the music again. I mean, I don't like Confuser, eh? That's, that's okay. That you could do to us. Come on, Hazel, just use Salt Gear. Yes! Alright. Good job. Maybe we're just gonna, like, pull, like... We're gonna use her cover. Because I have no idea how much damage this is about to do to us. And we're confused. Charge Beam. Did more than I like, however... No, Hazel! I mean, I think we have this battle in the bag. I just would like to get a recover off. Oh, charge beam increased to special attack. That's right. Oh, I'm sorry, Hazel. I failed you as a trainer. All right, Lemon. Can you withstand the electric moves for us? All you have to do is not hit yourself. Well, <laughs> that didn't go to plan. It's okay. It's all right. We got this. Oh, okay. We don't. We don't have that one. Sorry, Lemon. Ugh. I mean, I definitely think we have the battle, right? All right. Sorry, Taffeta. Alright, unfortunately you're paralyzed, so you're definitely moving second. You think you could get a dig in anyway? No? Alright. Is this enough? Oh no, she has one more hit. Alright, well... I, I don't actually know where we're going with this. <laughs> you just have to not get hit. Oh, good. Confuse Ray. Alright, we won. If, um, if she had used Charge Beam again, I probably would have been the battle. Excellent. Hazel pretty much indeed saw us through. 
even if she had to faint to do it. <laughs> You're as flashy and bright as a 10 million volt thunderbolt, friendo. Our challenger came out victorious. Well done, Marchalin. I hate to say it, but I lost. Thanks for cheering me on, anywho, my loyal fans. Screen cap this quick. This will be a shot you'll want to save in your brain space forever. I mean, she's not wrong. And I will. If any of you found our electrifying battle to be shocking, go smash that subscribe button. I mean, you heard the woman. I'm not, like, listen, I'm not the one asking for subscriptions if the game does it for me, right? Right? Alright, I'm moving on. Your eyeballs are mine, caught in the electro web. Who's a what's it? I know. Catch you later. I love her. Pardon me, would you be Marchland I've been hearing so much about? Nimona had mentioned there was a promising new face in the academy. Yes, indeed. Oh, but I do apologize. I didn't mean to startle you by addressing you so suddenly. My name is Hassel. I am one of the Elite Four of the Pokemon League. I also teach art classes at the Academy. Ooh, classes. There's something we haven't looked at in a bit. I should go check out what some of the classes are. So, do tell me, young Marchlin, what compels you to collect these gym badges and strive to be a champion? I mean, for fun, I guess? And also, Nimona asked me. But I guess for fun. Asked and answered. Thank you. Naturally, there is no single correct answer, except later in the game when they ask me that exact question and they tell me it's the wrong answer. I'm not salty. All paths lead to the great creator of Paldea, as they say. You know, your friend Nimona is the youngest to achieve champion rank in all Paldean history. It is entirely possible that such great potential lies within you as well. Should you continue striving to reach champion rank, you will one day have to battle me. You would be wise to train hard starting now. It will save you from experiencing the bitter regret of defeat. Oh, and do come to my art class sometime. I would be thrilled to have you attend. That one. Got him right before you left. Oh, we have new classes to take. And we haven't even taken a single class yet. I think that would be a great thing to do in today's episode. Let's go take a class or two. Further those storylines. Learn more about the world. Be a student. Pick up TMs I definitely missed. Slow poke. What the heck are you? I don't know. Who's that Pokemon? <laughs> I don't know. I actually don't. <laughs> I have no idea what that silhouette is. If you do, leave a comment. No, okay. I swear you're not going to hear that very much from me. But I don't know. I know just got me in the spirit of it today. But really, I have no idea what that Pokemon is. All right, we're back in front of the school, so let's go take a class or two. Let's see what those are like. I don't think I took a single class in my playthrough of Scarlet. I'm a bad student. Well, they said that I had an art class ready to take, but oh, that's because I do this. <laughs> right, I'm bad at this. I remember now. Alright, let's- well, we just met Hassel, so let's take an art class. Alright, I gotta admit, this is pretty awesome. <laughs> I love the pictures on the wall. Definitely looks like something I would do. Greetings, I'm Hassel. I'll be teaching you this art class. It's a pleasure to meet you all. Now, let me be candid for a moment. I imagine that many of you will forget all that you learned in this class once you graduate. Oh no! After all, you don't even need a basic understanding of artwork, much less a refined appreciation of beauty for most exams or jobs. So is my class a waste of time for you then? Oh, that's an existential question. I think not. At least I certainly hope it isn't. Think for a moment, all of you. What is beauty anyway? What makes something beautiful? Um, I would definitely say it's in the eye of the beholder. I mean, that's... I used to have a Latin teacher that used to say that a lot, actually. So, we're going with that. Interesting. Thank you, Marchlin. Think about why we might find beauty in a flower blooming on the side of the road, for example. 
or why a shiny Pokémon means so much more to us than just the normal cute Pokémon that already is? These are the real questions. Question why the sky is a different shade of blue than the ocean, or why the leaves change color. Ponder the windmills of Artisan and how they move. Contemplate the chilling bite of the waters of Kaskarafa. Did I say that right? Did I read that one correctly? Kaskarafa. Kaskarafa. I'm sure you will find that every little detail of your lives will seem more vivid, more impactful, if you take a moment to stop and think. And I am certain that if you stop and truly appreciate the little beauties of this world, it will help pull you through the days where your studies have you exhausted or work has dampened your spirits. Oh, do pardon me for waxing philosophical. You don't need to understand all that now. Oh, and Amon is here in class with us too. That's awesome. To put it simply, it's true that one doesn't need art to survive, but it certainly makes surviving much more enjoyable. He's not wrong. I do believe that as well. <laughs> not really what you would call a hot take, but I do believe that. It is my hope that this class will add even a little bit of cover color to your lives. That's all for today. Next time, we try a more hands-on approach to appreciating beauty. Well, that was fun. I like the inspiring messages. I'm definitely about that here. Well, we took a class, but it might also be worth our time uh, to go to maybe the nurse's office, meet some of these other characters here in the building. Let's start with the nurse's office today, and then maybe that's where we'll end it off. Oh, Giraffe Rig, I love you so much. Oh, I just want to take a picture of you. Oh, you're just moving around, huh? Oh. Oh. I love Giraffe Rig. You have a special place in my heart. I love that your tail is awake, too. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh, I can't stand it. Okay, let's talk to the nurse. I like the band-aid on her leg. Good touch, good touch. Hi there, come on in. Everyone's welcome to the nurse's office. What brings you here today? I don't see anything super wrong with you, you're a Pokemon. Wait, this is your first time here, isn't it? Sure is. Oh, so I guess you transferred in recently. You must be Marchland, right? Everybody's been talking about you. I've heard all kinds of rumors. Apparently you fell off a cliff right after rolling in the academy. Uh, yes, I did fall off a cliff after enrolling in the academy. Thanks for asking. And you even picked a fight with Team Star? I mean, who doesn't, right? Oh yeah, you started your treasure hunt thing, right? Come tell me about anything super interesting you find out there in your adventures. I'm kind of bored just sitting here all day, you know? I don't have any classes to teach and students only come here to skip class. Oh. So yeah, drop by if you can. Deal? Deal. Oh, we became slightly closer with Nurse Miriam. I like her already. So far we're two for two on teachers being pretty real with their students. Also, what's going on there? What is that? What is this? No, I don't want to go anywhere. What is this? What is this? Why is the floor sweating? Nurse Miriam? Why, why, why is your floor sweating? Okay. Well, that's a mystery for another time, I think. So what did we do today? Well, we got our electric badge. We leveled up our Pokemon a couple times. Uh, we, we actually just barely scraped through the battle. So... But hey, I'll take it. I did say I was going to win in the first attempt, and I did it, darn it. <laughs> we got to meet Hassel, and we took some classes. I'd say this has all been a pretty great day. So with that said, and if we ignore the sweating floor behind us, I think this is going to be a great time to end today's episode. So everyone, I want to thank you all for watching, and I hope you join me on my next adventure. Where? Who knows what we're going to do. So until then, goodbye and stay well! Also, you don't you don't have to hit a like, comment, or subscribe button. It's fine. You don't you don't have to do any of that. But I do appreciate you stopping in today. All right, let's get the end title card in here.